Hey there, uh, this brief video will show you how to add a contact form to your business website. It's, in my view, extremely important to have a contact form, not only a contact page as we do here, uh, but I, uh, and this is through testing, I found when you put a contact form in the sidebar of every page that you get a lot more people filling it out. There's a number of contact forms you can use. Uh, I use wufu.com. Uh, I also use the contact form 7 here that we've already loaded as a plugin. Um, those, uh, both of them are free. Uh, there's some uh, more heavy duty contact forms on the market as well. But if you're just get, getting started and uh, resources are tight, uh, I recommend this contact form 7. It does the job. So we're in that now. Um, Essentially, I, I leave it as is. It's it's a little bit takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, but you want to um, make sure you put your email down here so that when somebody fills it out, you'll receive the contact inquiry to your email. You can put multiple emails here, and so if you have an assistant or other people uh, in your business who should get the inquiries, you can add them all to it, and they'll go t to all those email addresses. Here is, on the left here, is your basic form. Um, these are the fields that you have, the name, email, subject, and the message box, and then a submit button. Uh, you can generate new tags. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna go through, I'm actually not an expert with this plugin. I generally don't change a whole lot with it. I've, it's sufficient. I do, uh, for my client businesses, I add a, a phone number box, and you can do that with a just adding a text field here is pretty straightforward and then you uh, that's that's all I use is name phone email subject message and, and that's it so to add this to any part of your site it's very simple uh, you highlight up there and you copy it what this is is this is a short code and when it's put into uh, the post, it will display the contact form. So we want to put this on our page, actually. And we want it in our contact page. Now, because it's a short code, you don't have to go into the HTML formatting. You can actually put short codes right in visual. And if short codes are great. You'll get used to them. A lot of various plugins use short codes. I use them as much as possible. All you got to do is just go like that and update it. View page. And voila. We've got a contact form and it's free. To add it into a sidebar, we go to our widgets again. Let's put it on the primary sidebar. I put it right at the top. And put the short code in. Save. And go check it out. We're on the home page. It's not here because I didn't put it on the home page. I, it's just on the sidebar right now. So we'll just go to uh, any other page on the site. And there we are. Contact us. And you have your contact form ready to go. And um, that's it. Uh, again, another one I really like using is Wufu. A lot more customization. It's easier to use. They look better. It's W-U-F-O-O. Dot com. You can use uh, up to three forms for free on a, as many sites as you like. If you go beyond that, you have to pay a monthly fee. Um, there you go. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.